Hey guys and welcome to a new video today where we don't only start off with my face in this one for a change, we start off in a brand new year of 2018 where we can wipe those poor run of results out the way, those leaky goals that we're conceding through our defence and we can start to build on a stronger team and hopefully we can fight maybe in the playoff places or hopefully we'll gain automatic promotion at the end is the total ambition. But first off, we do have Sunderland at home, so we're going to jump straight in. Okay, so the team for the game against Sunderland is going to be this. We've got Vibe up front, Jose Foon, Watkins on the wings, keeping Cliver in that very impressive position that he has been playing in recently, uh, with Yanaris and Mokito behind him. Egan and Bayern hopefully will not be conceding too many goals. And we've got Dowsgaard, Henry and Bentley, the last couple bench. Yeah, we don't really use the bench that much, but we've got Fatai, who's always reliable, so he can come on if needs be. And then we've got Sawyer's Sessa. No one amazing, so Fatai is really the strength on the bench. So we'll see how we get on. Cliver, come on, inside. Finish that. Far corner, go on. Oh! He's buried it. Max, third game in a row. Cliver has been on outstanding form. First shot of the game, and that is... Now you see why we pay the money for it. Great fit. Why is Dow's guard playing left back? Is a main question. Never mind. We don't care. We don't care if it's. Go on. You're Norris. Bang it. Go on, follow up, Watkins. Oh, you were not on your toes. Go on. You're Norris. Bang. Two 0 Jose Foon was on his toes that time. To make it two 0 Well played. So half time is looking pretty good as you can see there, 5 shots, 5 on target, not too bad, 81% pass accuracy could be a bit better, but at the moment Sunderland very good team, but we are pushing them out at the moment, it's very good. Defensively, been solid, they've had one shot, they hit the post, nothing special, let's carry it on for the second half. Ooh, it's good, it's very good switch, Cliver, Cliver! No proper connection. Right, a couple of changes. Um, we're taking off Yanaris for Sawyers and also Joseph Foon's coming off. He's had a good game, but we're going to bring on Canos. These are only really for stamina reasons, just for the next games, that because it's quite a busy period. I think I've had a quick look at the calendar. Uh, but yes, I've swapped Watkins onto the left hand side for the cutting in effect on his right foot, and Canos is naturally left footed anyway. Oh my god, there's Vibe! Vibe! Inside! Finesse! Oh. Just wide of the bar. No, let's go back, let's go back. Go for the cross. Dow's guard, whip it. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, come on, boy. Oh. 3 0. Very, very sloppy. But a goal's a goal. Made a meal out of it, really. But 3 0, Vibe gets the goal. Oh, look at this. We've got gaps appearing everywhere. Surely Clive can get another one. Oh, there we go. 4 0. It's all coming in now. Clive out with another goal. He's had another good game, Clive. He's on an absolute roll. Form of his life. Lovely ball over the top by Sawyers. And Clive is there just to dink it past. Nothing Sunderland can do. That man there, look at him. 9.5, Justin Clive. Fantastic. Two goals. Fantastic performance by him. But, more importantly, I feel that we should praise our defenders as we have a clean sheet. A very good attacking performance and defending because we get the clean sheet. That's the main thing I'm happy about is that clean sheet. So, we start as we mean to go on. So, guys, after that win against Sunderland, we are up to third in the table. Also, we have scored the most goals, which is a very, very good thing to see. Not a bad goal difference, really. And... Already now storming away with it a little bit, but we are firmly in the chase for the automatic promotion spots. So guys, next up we have Preston North End. Same, same ish team really. Same team. Um, who have I got different? Oh, I've got Woods. Woods is going to be playing instead of Yanaris. Yanaris had a good game, but want to keep it a bit fresh in the midfield. Oh, and Fatai, quite an important person, is going to be starting. As you can see, he's still in form from his last few games. Um, and I've dropped Vibe. He had a good game, but I'll put him in the reserves. I'm hoping... To be able to get a good job done in the first half and then be able to play, bring on Coot for the second half for the attacking field position. So Clive can have a little bit of a break. Maybe Harrison 
uh, for striker as well. So I'm hoping to be able to bring in some of the youth in the second half. Back. Oh, I've overcooked it. That's a free kick. Rip. Free kick on the edge of the box. Don't know who I'm going to use. Let's have a look at the stats again. I can never quite remember who's the designated free kick taker. And it's no one, really. So we're going to use the tie because he's got the best stuff. No, we're not. We're just going to we're going to lay it off and have a bang. We're going to have a bang with Dow's God. Why is Dow's God? Oh, why is Dow's God the man? Come on, Josephine. Nice turn by Clive. Let's get that shimmy on into the feet for tie. Turn bang. Oh, heavy touch. Heavy touch. No. That should have been such an easy clearance. Whose fault was that? Because you're getting subbed at half-time. Oh, the leak is still there. The curse of the leak. Oh, bloody Egan. It's got to be clearing that. It's got to go through the ball, mate. Well, the half started well as we hit the post inside the first minute. But other than that, we haven't really got anywhere. We've been on the edge of their box for half of the first half. But we can't do anything with it. Just been getting done. And then they nick that goal right at the end there, which was complete bollocks, really. So I won't be bringing on any youth players. Maybe Coop might sneak on. But until we get a couple of goals, nothing to happen. Go on, Cliver. Why are they so attacking? We need for Ty's head on this. Um, now we're having, we're having a dig with Cliver. Oh! Oh, I should have crossed it. I should have crossed it. Oh, what? How are you saving that? That play was so good to turn. There's no gaps opening up. Cliver, bang, Woods. Ooh. Come on, let's keep popping. Clivert! Hey! Justin Clivert does it again. I don't know, I did not think that was going to go in. Weaker foot. Properly in the top bin, that was. Justin Clivert does it again. It's one all, and it's all to play for in the final 15 minutes. But, I'm ho oh, what is going on? Why are we one on three? Why are we... Why, how? How? Unless they've gone ultra attacking. How are we one on three? What has happened there? Everyone just stopped playing. Oh, yes, that time. Well held off. Go on, Joseph. On your bike. Come on! You've got no stamina left. I need you to score. Oh, my God. Oh. oh it's fallen to Fatai. Oh, straight at the keeper. Sawyers. Oh. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, that's the, oh, that was the last kick of the game. I had nothing on. So, that is the end of that. It was a very, very close game in the end, but they sort of had the attacking upper hand. Somehow they end up with five people forward. I really don't understand that at all. But as you can see, Justin Clivert, 9.2 rating again. He is playing very, very well. We just missed out. It was an unlucky game. Uh, yeah, the goals we conceded were really unfair. But, you know, we're still, still in a very good position. Okay, guys, we'll quickly have a little look at our objectives overview because I've been told that we're not on track and I'm not sure where that really is on. As you can see, we have no high priority objective straight up, so I don't know what they're really chatting about, but youth development first off, sign a youth player, we've got him, and we're playing him, I can't remember who that is, but we're playing him. Uh, grow the youth academy player and play him in five matches. We will do our best with that, I think we need to put him in training sessions more. 85% attendance in 5 matches, we've done 4 out of 5, probably the next home match will be the one to do that. Continental success, we have none because we're so small. Domestic, mid-table finish, we're in 5th, brilliant. FA Cup, now that is going to be starting soon I think, the first draw, so we need to do as best as we can for that, so if it means saving some players for those games, we may need to. Um, and the bottom long term is to, within 2 seasons of the championship fight for... for uh, fight for promotion which hopefully we're going to be doing this season as we are already in the top four and financial finish with 17.6 million that will be hard because we have 18,000 pounds 
as I'm transfer budget and I've been buying players so that one will just we'll doss over that and hopefully we'll go for that for next year so just to show that we have our new man back in business Justin Cliver is very happy in morale playing in that attacking midfield position and he's got he's on form he's in good form not the best form but he's in very good form he's happy which is a very very big bonus for us and if you will remember in those last couple of videos I showed you that Cliver was not even in this first page look at him now five goals joint top scorer of the club and in assists he's made it onto the page we've got two assists so he's definitely finding his feet now and it could be a very very key player for this promotion fight so guys that is all we do have time for today in this video next up we do have Birmingham away and then I think we closely are followed by Leeds a couple of days later so it may need some uh, saving of stamina throughout that Birmingham game so we end the day in sixth place with a game in hand on a lot of teams above us so we're not in a bad position and hopefully we can continue our good goal scoring form in the next video so thank you very very much for watching happy new year to all of you uh, don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you all very soon